this sweet, beautiful, glorious little video is protected by fair use. It is not for profit. It is for free. You can share this freely. It is for the purposes of criticism, commentary, and entertainment. Thanks for watching. Welcome to the Sanity Machine, the cream of the crop channel on YouTube. So, he's saying life is not a soul trap. It's a loving creation. He's saying life is not a soul trap. Life is not a soul trap. Who said that life is? Life. Define life. What Life could exist in many forms beyond this matrix. <clears throat> this 3D realm, this fake place of illusions. Frederick Dodson channel 24.6 thousand subscribers wow wonder who follows this stuff and this guy writes books so as soon as somebody writes books they think wow he's he's got some credentials he's a, he's written some books let's see what this guy has to say give him a chance everyone give him a chance There are a lot of intelligent people who are of the belief they're stuck on a prison planet. They believe the soul is trapped on earth in a realm ruled by an evil being. See that? I don't think this is a planet. Okay. Ruled by an... What are you putting above your head? Look at this. Strange character. He's reading from a script. I don't believe that this is a planet. I don't believe that I'm trapped here. Okay? You're way off. You, you, it's like you've done no research. You're speaking on a topic out of ignorance. We have evidence which is different from beliefs. And this isn't a planet. It's not a spinning flying ball in space. Like you believe. You, we were taught that. You were taught to believe that by Freemasons. Right off the bat, I can see what this guy is. Evil being that harvests and farms the energy or louche of human beings. Many believe that after we die, the soul is tricked into reincarnating over and over and continually imprisoned in the body for more energy harvesting and exploitation. They say that the light at the end of the tunnel that many experience in uh, out-of-body travels or near-death experiences or comas, we've all heard about it, the light at the end of the tunnel, or the meeting of deceased relatives in their spiritual form in their light body or the meeting of angel guides or soul guides is all part of an elaborate trick or scheme to entrap the soul to take it and against their will force it back into another reincarnation so even that according to them is a conspiracy <laughs> conspiracy wow even that according to them is a conspiracy he's going to go on to try to paint people who see reality as uh, paranoid look at this guy he's quite something he doesn't want this topic to be uh, covered by many because it would cut into his business of selling his shitty books 
That's what I think. Part of his motivation. He's motivated to sell books and do things, uh, sessions with people that say otherwise. He doesn't want to change his view because he has a financial stake holding on to his current uh, existing view of this realm, which he believes is a planet because Freemasons told him so. Jesuits and Freemasons said so. That's what runs science in this realm, okay? The tiny hats run those organizations, run Freemasonry, the Vatican, the Jesuits, Jesuit schooling, Freemasonry science, Freemasonic science. It's all under one umbrella in this realm. It's all controlled. And this guy thinks he's clever, but he doesn't understand how this realm works, including science and education. He doesn't get it. In other words, he doesn't get it. He doesn't get it how the sci how science and the Freemasonic media and Hollywood and all of it is tied together. All of it. It's not a conspiracy. It's not just a quote conspiracy theory. They do conspire and they do run this realm. Conspiring together benefits them to be in cahoots. Some of them say that planet Earth can't possibly be a learning school or a training ground, as I say, because with each incarnation, your memory is wiped and you start anew in amnesia. And some compare this to the uh, science fiction show Westworld where the robots' memories are wiped and then they're sent back into Westworld, into the... Uh... Oh, it's a great school. So after every lifetime, you have to go back, your, your memories are wiped, who you are, where you are, how you got there, your loved ones, and all basic knowledge, all knowledge for the vast majority here, how to tie your shoes, how to crawl, how to walk, how to talk, how to read, how to write, how to do basic math, how to use a spoon, how to feed yourself. Everything you have to learn all over again, every single thing, starting from scratch. That's the vast majority here, lifetime upon lifetime. If you can't retain knowledge, then you can't learn. How can you learn in school if, every, if after every grade, you everything you learned in grade three is wiped out when you're going into grade four. Okay? Do you understand? It's pretty simple. Do you want to have to tie your, learn how to tie your shoes a thousand lifetimes in a row? How does that teach you anything? You have to learn that fire's hot, it can burn you? That's the twilight zone having to relearn things you already learned over and over and over again, Re repeating over and over again and getting no further ahead. Think about it. He calls this planet Earth. It's not a planet. It's not a planet. You're in a realm. You're not in a spinning ball. Wobbling, spinning, flying through space. I mean... <laughs> You believe all this shit that they teach you? You've been programmed. Freddy. I'm going to call him Freddy. It's uh, Frederick. Frederick Dodson. Look at this. I think it's a Rode microphone. Those are pretty expensive. Those wireless mics that you put on your shirt. It's like a cube. I've seen these on Amazon. So he's all set up. He's got his papers in his hand here. He's holding on to his, his script. He's reading from it. He does a lot of hand signs during this. It's a strange character. Strange guy. He's Mr. Personality. Freddy, Mr. Personality. That's what I'm going to call this guy. Freddy, Mr. Personality.
fake reality for more action and if they'd actually remember how poorly they were treated before their memories were wiped they'd want to escape they'd realize this is not the life this is not reality this is not good so a lot of people compare humans to robots and they believe there needs to be a robots rebellion this uh, viewpoint is nothing new it's been around for hundreds probably thousands of years it's the Gnostic view of the world according to the Gnostics this realm is governed by the Demiurge and they say we live in a simulation in a kind of an AI run program some go on to claim that the moon is a soul catcher I know how far out this sounds but that's what they say the moon is a soul catcher and the moment you're soul leaves the body the moon catches you processes you and sends you back to earth so that you can never get out and why do gnostics believe never get out bullshit he's misrepresenting again that's what he's done throughout this whole video at first i thought he was saying agnostics but he's trying to say gnostics he's trying to say the g he doesn't even know how to pronounce gnostic he doesn't know how to pronounce Gnostic. Let's give Freddy a helping hand, everyone. Here's the word Gnostic, pronunciation. You can do this with words that you don't understand or you don't know how to pronounce. Maybe words you've only read and never heard spoken in videos. Apparently, he's never watched any YouTube videos and heard people speak the word Gnostic. 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 Are you catching on, Freddy? Gnostic. One more time. Ready? Gnostic. Okay, there you go. I hope that helps you out, Freddy. I think it, I think it will. I hope so. The way they believe, it's because they look at the world and see that it's full of lies, full of illusions. So who can blame them for believing that everything else is also a lie and an illusion? They say that because everything is lies, there's no reason to assume that death itself and the afterlife process are honest or real. So the only right way to live, they say, is to prepare an escape in the afterlife. You use this life to prepare for an escape in the afterlife. They say that's the only proper use of this life because any trying to change this reality is merely trying to change a prison. So I was sent this video by Carl, someone that's a regular on my channel. And I took a look, and I thought, yeah, I've got to analyze this or review this. Carl mentioned that it seems like this Freddy guy got some things from watching my channel. You can't fix this prison. So this part here comes to mind right now. That you can't fix this place. I wish, he would have, I wish this Freddy guy would have said that you can't change a bicycle into being a jet airplane though with big jet engines like a 747 because it's a bicycle it's not even broken it is what it is it's operating the way it's designed to just like this realm that's the way this place is it's not broken a lot of people keep saying this this world's so broken it's not broken you're seeing that it's fucked up and it's evil Okay, fucked up, not in the sense of being broken, but in the sense of being sick, messed, like a, a sickening place, an evil place, a cruel place, place of suffering by design. It's a fucking mess, but it's made this way. Made to be this way.
say that's the only proper use of this life. Because any trying to change this reality is merely trying to change a prison. Improving this reality is improving a prison. The only thing that matters, according to them, is improving. How can you improve it? I could name many things you can't improve at all. You can help on an individual basis, but you can't fix the realm. You can't change the design. You can't stop life from eating life or make it so life doesn't have to eat life here. Right off the bat. How are, and how are you going to fix uh, all the acts of God? Hurricanes, tornadoes, tsunamis, earthquakes, firestorms, floods, droughts, all that stuff. You can't. How are you going to fix mosquitoes carrying disease and the tsetse fly? carrying sleeping disease. Mosquitoes kill 700,000 people or more on average a year in this realm. Just the mosquito, the lowly little mosquito. How are you going to fix that? You going to improve that? What are you going to do? What are you going to do, Freddy? What are you going to do? What are you going to do to change prides of lions to make them vegans? To save the animals that they prey upon and eat? What are you going to do? You're not going to do anything. You're just going to talk and pretend this place can be fixed because you're full of shit. And I've shown that it can't be, which is a big step, a big realization, a big way of awakening for people. Because once you realize that, you'll want to get out of this place thinking, you know what? It can't, he's right. It can't be fixed because it's operating as designed this place. Suffering is built into the design. This place is a feeding frenzy, just for starters, not to mention disorders, diseases, genetic disorders, all the shit built in, programmed into this place that you cannot fix. So again, you're full of shit, but that's the, way, that's the level most people are at, it's this guy here. He keeps using the word believe, 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 because that's where he's stuck. That's the level he's stuck at, belief. Beliefs don't require any proof, evidence, anything substantial. That's where this guy's stuck, on beliefs. It's at a low level. It's not a high-level thinker. It's at a low level. Is getting out. And the way to do that, according to the Gnostics, is in heightening your awareness to the point you become aware of all the tricks, all the deception. It's in learning out-of-body travel before you die, learning to leave your body before you die. It's in lucid dreaming. It's in extrasensory perception and all that. Now, as wise and enlightened all of this sounds, I disagree with it. I'm not a Gnostic, and I do not adhere to the mean universe theory. I disagree with everything the Gnostics say, except for the last part, that you should train out-of-body travel, lucid dreaming, heightened awareness, I do support that. But if you had very heightened awareness, not just heightened awareness, which just leaves you paranoid, but very heightened awareness, you'd see that the grand scheme, the bigger game of the universe is benevolent. There's something much bigger going on than just this realm. So the Gnostic view of life provides heightened awareness of evil, and evil does exist. I'm not saying it doesn't. I'm not a new ager who denies the existence of evil and says, all is well, and uh, all is well, and all is well. Listen to his dumb voice there, all is well. Anyway, this guy's really hard to listen to. He's really annoying.
very heightened awareness. You'd see that the grand scheme, the bigger game of the universe is benevolent. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. That the bigger game is, is, it's not a game, first of all, is benevolent when this realm is full of suffering. So how do you get a bigger uh, benevolence out of, uh, like this this place is full of suffering. You're assuming that the bigger outside of this is benevolent. It doesn't make any sense. It's like saying evil created uh, goodness or that this hell realm came out of goodness. It's it does it just doesn't add up at all. At all. You might as well say fire is water. You'd like that to be the case, but that doesn't that's two plus two equals pineapple. The truth matters. Truth is, this place is full of evil and suffering and run by evil and sadistic demons and deceivers, lies. That's what runs this place. So whatever created this place wants it this way and left it this way. I know that's uncomfortable for your type to face, but that is the case. According to all the evidence we have to look at, that is the case. That's what makes sense. Not, benev not benevolence, not a benevolent universe. This matrix that we're in right now is the hell realm sewer matrix. Whatever made this is not benevolent, obviously. That is simple to see, simple. So you're spewing nonsense, illogical, illogical nonsense. There's something much bigger going on than just this realm. So the Gnostic view of life provides heightened awareness of evil, and evil does exist. I'm not saying it doesn't. I'm not a new ager who denies the existence of evil and says, all is well, and uh, all is well, and all is well. Pretty much all they say, all is well. Um, no. There, there is an awareness of evil, but the Gnostics have a low awareness of good. You see, the New Ager has a... Absolutely false. For one thing, I'm not a Gnostic, which you try to group in everyone who is putting forth this model of a soul trap. My model is my model, though, and I am not a Gnostic. For another thing, I do not have what he claims to be... Uh, what he claims. I do not have what he claims... Uh, sorry, distracted by something I looked at on my phone. I see the good and beauty, and that's a mistake by you thinking that we don't see it. I'm an artist. I draw, I paint, I photograph nature. I love looking at nature and animals and walks in the woods, hikes, all that stuff. Lakes, rivers, forests, oceans, you name it. So you're wrong. You're wrong. It's about looking at the full spectrum. The whole big picture of this place. That's what I do. I don't ignore the good, but I don't ignore the evil either. And that's what many in this realm do. They pick one or the other. And I don't do that. And what you try to do is go in the middle and say, it's both good and bad. It's both good. It's balanced which is false. If you look at this realm truly, it is not balanced at all. Look at the amount of starving beings in this place and suffering. You haven't done that. You haven't done the work to know what you're talking about. 
you're speaking on this topic out of ignorance, and it shows. A high awareness of good and a low awareness of evil. But the truth is always somewhere in the middle, in a balanced view. Gnostics, ancient and modern, argue that life is almost 100% suffering to some degree. They say that everybody is... Who says that it's 100% suffering? I've never said it's 100%. Where'd you get that from? You got to start off by learning how to say the word Gnostic, okay? Before you're going to speak for people. And then you've got to get get beyond labeling people Gnostics that just talk about what this realm is. Because I'm not a Gnostic. Gnostics have this weird belief that there's some good, benevolent God out there, Krator, that's way out there that abandoned them. Okay, that is the common Gnostic view, at least of the ancient Gnostics. I don't buy that at all. Because it can't be a good, quote, Krator if it abandoned his children, that's neglect and abuse, abandoning them to this realm of suffering, where they're prey. That's neglect, it would be if a parent did that with children. It's the same thing. So there can't be a good God out there. So right off the bat, I have a huge disagreement with Gnostics, or Gnostics, as you say it. Gnostics. Fuck, man, you're weird. You are. You're just weird. Weird, dude. Weird. Mr. Personality Freddy. Freddy. It's like a robot or something. I don't know. Is this a robot or what is this on the screen? ancient and modern what kind of life form is this on the screen does anyone know of good and a low awareness of evil but the truth is always somewhere in the middle in a balanced view Gnostics, ancient and modern, argue that life is almost 100% suffering to some degree. They say that everybody is suffering to some degree. But that's not my experience of life at all. I'm a reality creator and I've created a life of strength, joy, kindness, he did, that's not his reality. He, it's not his experience. Because he doesn't see the suffering of others. He's never bothered to look. Do you know some of us suffer just by seeing the suffering of others? Even if I'm not suffering daily myself? I see it. I hear it. I feel it. I know it. I know others are, are experiencing suffering. I actually care about others. Have you ever thought to do that? Go beyond yourself. Look. Think. See. Feel beyond yourself, beyond yourself, beyond yourself and your little bubble of an experience. You've got a little bubble here which you think, well, of course I've disproved them because I'm not suffering in my little life. You haven't at all. It's still a hell realm for countless millions and millions and millions here. And the ones of us that notice the suffering of others, others beyond you. You can't seem to see beyond yourself. You're very common in that way. Most people in this realm are that way. They demonstrate it with their words and behavior all the time. You're like that, Freddy. This can't be a hell realm. My life's pretty good. Well, double thumbs up, genius. What a big picture view you have, just of your little bubble. What a small fucking picture you have. Very limited. 
you're a very limited life form. Limited vision. And limited care for others. Success. So I can't say that life is mostly suffering because my life is mostly not suffering. Some of the agnostics say that I'm the most... I almost thought he was saying agnostics at first because he says it in such a weird way. Such a weird way. It's really strange. This guy's very strange. Success. So I can't say that life is mostly suffering because my life is mostly not suffering. Some of the agnostics say that I'm the most dangerous person of all because I make life in prison better for people so that they don't want to escape. They'd say if a person were really suffering, they'd want to escape. You see how that works? So, in order to confirm their belief that life is suffering, they need you to suffer. But life is not suffering. I don't need anyone to suffer. Just look at the suffering of others. I don't need you to suffer. Just observe this realm as it is. That's all you have to do. I don't want anyone to suffer. He's very confused. Very confused. they'd want to escape. You see how that works? So, in order to confirm their belief that life is suffering, they need you to suffer. But life is not suffering. Life is a perfect balance of good and evil, of good times and bad times, of lovingness and hate, of fear and kindness. <laughs> He says that life is a perfect balance. Really? Well, what are the 10,000 diseases for? Life eats life every second of every day here, on every level. There's stuff being brutally torn to pieces right now, and you call it a perfect balance. You don't notice the pain and suffering of everything around you. You're just blind to it. Or you simply don't care. And that's a lot in this realm. They simply don't give a shit. 33 minutes and 33 seconds right now just went by. I could see it coming, though. I could see the double 33s. of good times and bad times, of lovingness and hate, of fear and kindness. Now, I have a common sense, logical rebuttal for each of the points that the Gnostics make. However, my real reason for not believing that this life is a soul trap is thanks to only one thing. I this place is a soul trap, not life. This place, this place, and to be better, uh, to word it better than a soul trap, it's a recycling system. That's what this is. It's a recycling system and it's a way to drain to great spirits. You're not in a good place, you're in a hell realm but you haven't looked to see. You really haven't looked around you. You don't know where you are because you don't look at what's going on here. You don't understand. So you're just trying to debate something without understanding it 
which is common. You're lazy. You're lazy-minded. You haven't put in the work and done the years of research. Or even hours. You haven't even done hours of research. You haven't done very much at all. And it shows. It shows very clearly in your video. I've met a lot of people. And some of the nastiest, but also some of the most depressed people I've ever had the pleasure to meet or do work with or coaching with, adhere to the Gnostic philosophy or the mean... Gnostic? Gnostic? This guy's, man, it's really, it's really getting tough to listen to this because he can't even speak properly. Gnostic? Gnostic? He's, are you going to say Ganesh? Ganesh? Gnostic? Gnostic? How weird, man. Learn how to say the word before you're going to debate against something. God damn. had the pleasure to meet or do work with or coaching with adhere to the Gnostic philosophy or the mean world, mean universe philosophy. And adhering to that philosophy is what has made them so sad or so nasty. I judge a belief system by what it does to the people who believe in it. And you might say, well, Fred, that is so judgmental. I adhere to Gnosticism and I'm not nasty. Well, I didn't say everyone, but this. I'm not a Gnostic. Uh, I'm not a mean, depressed, sad person. This knowledge is empowering. Okay, it's empowering. He calls it a mean world, mean universe. Mean? How childish. It's really strange. This guy's very strange. But, you know, I think some on the Shady Bunch should probably embrace this guy with open arms. People ...who believe in it. And you might say, well, Fred, that is so judgmental. I adhere to Gnosticism and I'm not nasty. Well, I didn't say everyone, but there's a general tendency that what a person believes um, influences the way they hold themselves in life and what they experience as a consequence of the way they hold themselves. Their poise, their position, their attitude. If it makes a person cruel and nasty, or sad and depressed, I'd argue it's a false belief system. Or if not false, then at the very least, disempowering. And even if you... False, it's not a belief system, it's not disempowering. It's very empowering. Look at, look at this smile here, look at this. What kind of a life form is this guy? something very odd about him very odd or sad and depressed i'd argue it's a false belief system or if not false then at the very least disempowering and even if you did believe that you need to escape wouldn't you prefer to be empowered while trying to escape feeling strong and and healthy oh like my channel says all the time that i want people to be strong not to give way to fear or despair it's 
to enter the afterlife with strength, bravery, courage to to be to look forward to glorious a glorious existence, glorious realms beyond here. What I say on my channel is very empowering. This guy's misrepresenting completely, but that's what most people do on YouTube. Most are not honest or they're lazy minded and don't do the research or a combination of both not honest and lazy and misrepresenting. That's what goes on all the time. We're not trapped here forever. I've never said that. Never. Anyway, I'll push forward for a bit. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get through this whole thing, though. It's pretty, uh, pretty fucked up. It's getting to be really annoying just listening to this guy. Or, if not false, then at the very least, disempowering. And even if you did believe that you need to escape, wouldn't you prefer to be empowered while trying to escape, feeling strong and, and healthy? So you see the contradiction there. They disempower themselves through their negative thoughts and then claim they want to escape the realm. But how are you going to escape the realm if you feel depressed? If it makes a human being kind and loving and trusting as well as trustworthy, it's a true belief. Or well, that, that would apply to a lot of Christians that believe in Jesus Christ. They're kind and loving and trusting. Some of them are trustworthy. Does that make their belief true? No. Why would that make their belief true? That Jesus Christ was the Son of God and came here to be crucified on a cross? And it's ridiculous that how something makes you feel makes it true or not as a true belief. Ridiculous. You're way off. You're stuck on beliefs. Please, anyone listening to this, do not do a shot during this video. I should have warned you earlier for every time he says the word belief, He's probably said belief and believes 40, 50 times already. He just keeps saying it. He doesn't realize what a belief is. Why don't you talk about the evidence? You know, the way I do on my channel all the time. The evidence. I almost feel sorry for people that follow this garbage. I almost feel sorry for them. Because you're stuck in beliefs and belief systems, which is BS, belief systems, BS. Why don't you try looking at the actual evidence, the realm itself? I'm not picking on this guy, but maybe he has Asperger's or something. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what he has. I don't know, but he's very strange. He has to be on the spectrum, and I'm not sure what else. And loving and trusting as well as trustworthy, it's a true belief or if not true at the very least empowering now i'm not saying that all gnostics are unfriendly people many of them are highly intelligent gnostics look look at his camera what what's this about why is why is your camera like that like what the fuck are you doing at the very least empowering now i'm not saying that all gnostics are unfriendly people many of them are highly intelligent highly aware and you'll find many gnostics among the elite so this whole idea that we live in a conspiracy universe is actually an 
uh, 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 an idea that comes from the ruling elite. Those who hate the creator of this universe and position the creator of the universe as this evil being. So I'm not saying that all Gnostics are bad or unfriendly, um, much less stupid. Many of them are highly, highly intelligent. But behind every antisocial and psychopath person, you will find a similar belief system. Wow, now he's grouping Gnostics, or Gnostics as he calls people, uh, with the quote, belief system of a prison planet. He's grouping them in with psychopaths. And the quote, elite, they're not elite at all, they're shit eaters, they're not quote, elite. And they don't, they don't, uh, this is not their belief. This guy is way off, way off. Way off. Maybe he had a run-in with a few mead people and he said, they're a Gnostic, uh, every Gnostic must be like them. So now he's trying to paint them as psychopaths. I wonder if this guy's a biblical creator-believing flat earther. I wonder if that's him, judging by what's on his wall right there, and more. I wouldn't be surprised. But then again, he calls it a planet, so it is confusing. He says, Earth's a planet. Then he has this on his wall. It's very weird. This guy's very, very strange. Very strange character. An evil universe, evil God belief system. Maybe this is just garbage. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just, I don't know. I'm not going to even bother zooming in and looking at it. Fuck it. Not worth the energy to go in deeper into this because this guy's been spewing so much nonsense already during this. So much nonsense. And psychopath person, you will find a similar belief system. Um, evil universe, evil God belief system, a philosophy that is almost void of hope. And just to be clear, I'm not claiming there is no evil. As I've explained in my books, life is the perfect balance of good and evil. You experience based on your choices. Oh, you experience based on your choices. What about children that are child abused in many ways, including ways I can't say on YouTube? Did they choose that? No. What about children that are born deformed? Did they choose that? No. What about the ones that are born disabled or develop a severe disability or genetic disorder? They have a genetic disorder programmed into them. Did they choose that? No. What about children that get leukemia? Did they choose that? No. Childhood dementia, did they choose that? No. I can go on. What about people that lose their loved ones to a hurricane, to an earthquake, earthquake to a tornado, to a tsunami, to a firestorm, to a giant flood? Did they choose that? No. There's all kinds of things that happen to you in this realm that you did not choose, it wasn't happening to you as a result of a free will choice. What about the children that are starving? And people, whether they're an adult or a child, any age, but especially children, did they choose that? No. 
They didn't. There's suffering that they did not choose at all here. Every day. Every day. So you're completely wrong again. Read from your little script. You don't understand the basics of this place or what free will is and how there is limited, very, very limited, quote, free will in this place. And there's no true freedom in this place. Evil, as I've explained in my books, life is the perfect balance of good and evil. You experience based on your choices. I'll say something controversial. I believe that the mean universe, the soul trap adherents, don't want to take responsibility for their choices in life. You're assuming that and you're wrong. I take responsibility for my choices but I can't take responsibility for things I didn't choose or children didn't choose, like being abused as a child or developing illnesses that made me suffer that I didn't choose, and others, and all the things that I listed. There's tons in this world day after day that we do not choose whatsoever. Usually the worst suffering we have was not chosen. It was inflicted upon us, not chosen. So you're completely wrong and misrepresenting again. But that's all you've done so far. It's so easy to debunk these people. It's just a piece of cake. That's all it is. based on your choices. I'll say something controversial. I believe that the mean universe, the soul trap adherents, don't want to take responsibility for their choices in life and then blame an evil entity for when things don't go well. So they create themselves as victims who are in a trap. And they'll do a lot to convince you that you don't actually have free will, that free will is an illusion, that it might look like you have choices. They'll say things like, in a computer game, the character um, does have a few choices they can make within very, very small limits, and that's to uphold the illusion that there is free will. That's what they'll say. Okay, and to some extent that is correct, but that's not because there's some evil conspiracy, that's because every game has certain limits, certain rules. And if you don't want to play by the rules, if you don't want to be limited, you shouldn't be playing the game. You see, <laughs> should well, who says that we chose to come in here to quote play the game to begin with? Where's your proof that this was chosen? Where's your proof of that? You don't have any again. You just have beliefs. You have no evidence for anything. You just have beliefs that make you feel better. You're trying to comfort yourself. That's what you're trying to do. And that's all you can do. When I go play tennis, it's in a certain context, and there are certain limits. These are rules, otherwise the game can't be played. And that's not the result of an evil agenda. That's the result of me volunteering to those limits so that I can play the game. I'm also not claiming there are no lies and conspiracies. I understand that almost everything you see in the media and in politics is a lie. I understand that. I agree with that. That is true. And I completely understand 
uh, if you think the people who believe in the lie are idiots. That's also true. They are idiots. I'm not saying they aren't. But just because a lot in this world is a lie, it doesn't mean that everything is a lie, including the afterlife, including the light at the end of the tunnel. Everything, all of it is a lie, you know? Um, is that what we said, that everything out there is a lie beyond this? Or do we simply say, at least I do, say that... Uh, if this is a realm full of lies, why would you assume that the lies just end as soon as you kick the bucket and leave your body? As soon as your spirit leaves this body and this earthly realm, why would you assume that all the lies and deceptions and illusions end when near-death experiences, thousands of them, show us that they continue, the lies and deceptions? We have evidence to show that the lies uh, continue. A lot of us have out-of-body or near-death experiences ourselves. Well, may, I can't say a lot of us. Some of us, I'll say, is more accurate. Some of us have had these experiences showing us. So we're well aware that it's stupid to assume that, well, once I'm out of my body, it's all truth from here on out. Every, every being's truthful. Whatever I encounter, bullshit. It doesn't work that way. Just because you left your body doesn't mean that all the lies, illusions, deceptions evil ends and stays here. It doesn't work that way. The next level of this matrix, the astral realm, has lying characters that appear as Jesus, appear as your loved ones, etc. etc. So what's empowering? Telling people it's all okay and just believe them? Or warning people? Saying, hey, be cautious. Have your guard up. Don't believe them. Don't just believe them. Get out of there. You suit yourself. You want to fly right into the light? You go for it. Go do it. I think it's foolish. My videos uh, speak against doing that, but it's up to you in the end. If you just want to show your cat walking around on your table or desk or whatever, go ahead. In fact, the Gnostic Evil Universe theory is the most common theme in entertainment media. Get this. There's almost no Hollywood movie that promotes the idea of a world created by a kind and loving being. Almost all sci-fi, horror, many action movies too, sell this idea of an evil universe that we have to break out of and break free from. The Soul Trap adherents claim that the media is all lies without realizing that their own belief system about soul traps is media created and media influenced. And if they were to switch off the media and stop... <laughs> I don't own a television, I don't watch media, I don't watch the news. What I see doesn't stem from the mainstream media. You're so fucking far off. And plus, they show you truth hidden in plain sight. You'd have to be at a fool's level to think that it's just 100% lies, that they never show you truth in movies, fiction. It's hidden in plain sight. They've been doing this with Orwell's books and and Huxley, and, and, and sci-fi books, and movies, forever. You must be at a low level not to see that much. It's very clear. Truth hidden in plain sight. Truth in fiction lies in the news. This guy doesn't, get, doesn't understand. He's trying to defend against something, and it's like you don't understand anything. You don't know what you're talking about. He looks foolish. Because he is.
Stop watching Hollywood movies for a while and stop looking at social media. He thinks that we are just uh, influenced by Hollywood movies and, and TV and social media. It's just, it's just ridiculous. What an assumption. What a wrong, stupid assumption. That is El Stupido. claim that the media is all lies without realizing that their own belief system about soul traps is media created and media influenced. And if they were to switch off the media and stop watching Hollywood movies for a while and stop looking at social media for a while, the brainwashing would subside and they'd once again be able to experience Earth as a lovingly created, self-sustaining, self replenishing, beautifully miraculous system. And Hollywood isn't the only place where the soul trap idea has been promoted. It's also been heavily promoted in the metaphysical scene. For example, in the 70s, Carlos Castaneda spoke of entities that harvest our energy. And there are such entities. I agree with that. I'm not disagreeing, but that's not the only game in town. That's like saying because you saw drug dealers in a bad part of town, everyone is a drug dealer, and that's the main game, but it's not. There are many other games being played. The out-of-body researcher Robert Monroe uh, spoke of something similar. He was out of body and he saw how some entities harvest people's energy, harvest their sexual energy, um, their emotional negative energy, even their positive energy. And even so, that's not the only game in town. Now, the other extreme, the other polarity. So what he's trying to say then is because there's some good entities out there somewhere that, oh, it's not the only game in town. You don't understand where you are and what you're in. That's the problem. You're not willing to face it. I don't think this guy has the guts to do it. That's what it is. So I think he's headed right for the recycling bin. Clarity to Gnostics are what we could call New Agers. I think the term New Agers is well enough known that everybody instantly has an idea of what I mean by that. And these are the people that keep insisting that all is well and that any suspicion of evil or wrongdoing is fear-based. And I hear that expression fear-based a lot. And it bothers me because it's often used to cover up great evil, right? Somebody points out corruption or evil, and they'll instantly chime in, but that's fear-based. In other words, stop focusing on it. Stop getting involved in it. That's fear-based. Uh, energy goes where attention goes. Well, of course, energy goes where attention goes. And of course, you shouldn't get into it so much that uh, you become fearful, but merely pointing out and observing facts and reality and evil agendas is not fear-based. It's reality-based. It's seeing what is as it is. And that's what I do. It's not fear-based, it's reality-based, but you haven't really looked at this realm. You think that what I have is a belief system. It's reality-based. It's observable truth. You can observe this realm and then say, yeah, Stephen, I agree with you because that's what I see. It's right there. 
the evidence is right there to observe. It's observably true. It's reality-based. That's my model. It's not fear-based. It's not wishful thinking. It's not new age. It's not negative. It's reality-based. And that's what this guy misses out on. He doesn't understand. Because he hasn't done the he hasn't done the work. Even if he did the work, he might not have get it. But he definitely has not done the work on my channel, that's for sure. He hasn't done the work. Observing facts and reality and evil agendas is not fear-based. It's reality-based. It's seeing what is as it is. Fear-based would be if I start getting scared of it because I don't believe in my own empowerment, because I believe I'm weak and I live in a mean old universe. Believe, you know, believe. These two opposites, Gnosticism and New Age, they kind of feed each other. No, they don't. They don't feed each other whatsoever. Not at all. Believe, believe, believe. You can keep your beliefs. There are things higher than beliefs, like knowing and seeing truly and observing what is real and true. Not beliefs, beliefs, beliefs. You're stuck on believing, believing. in my own empowerment because I believe I'm weak and I live in a mean old universe. You see how these two opposites, Gnosticism and New Age, they kind of feed each other. So trying to get rid of any suspicion of evil or wrongdoing with saying all is well and those are fear-based ideas is just as foolish and ridiculous as the opposite that sees everything as evil and dark. And you have these philosophies in religion too, by the way. You have these extremes. So, I'm I don't see everything as evil. I'm not evil, and I know people that are not evil. I know there are beings that bring good into this realm. I see the way things are, as it is. And as above, so below, as within, so without. There isn't just evil here and then none, quote, above this or beyond this level of this matrix. So again, he's misrepresenting, saying all is evil. No, I don't see that. I don't see it that way at all whatsoever. This guy really wants to defend his books. That's what I think it's, this is about. He feels threatened. His book sales. Dark. And... You have these philosophies in religion too, by the way. You have these extremes. So I'm not a new ager. I'm not claiming all is well, because all is not well, okay? The, I believe the general grand scheme is well, but in the details, not all is well. You know, you could have a medical pharmaceutical genocide happening right in front of your eyes, and a new ager would say that pointing this fact out is fear-based. And what's going to happen if we just ignore it as fear-based? Well, that genocide can continue. It is only by pointing it out that we can stop it. You could have astral entities turning a person into a meth addict so that they can suck out their life force 
and you'd have a new ager say, all is well, she's on her own journey, or some such nonsense. So he has uh, memberships, live seminar footage, charisma training, video course, you don't have charisma. So how are you going to train people? You're Mr. Personality. You're lacking charisma. Charisma training video course. Money training course. Look at this shit. It's got all these courses. The flow state webinar. Look at this. 10% off upcoming live seminars. Join for just $777. Oh, and why did he choose the 777 number? Do you have any idea of that esoteric symbolism there of the 777? Joined for 777 $777. Look at this. Look at this. You are joining a growing number of reality creators on their quest for an enlightened civilization. Frederick Dodson. He's a coach. He's a reality creation coach with live seminars and courses. Look at this. Here he is, Freddie. Freddie Dodson, author of more than 50 books. Wow. There you go. So, all is not well, nor is all evil. Instead, I believe our situation to be this. The creator of this realm is benevolent, but allows for some evil in the world to challenge us and help us exercise choice. <laughs> Isn't that foolish? Allows for some evil. The world is ruled by evil, and it's obvious, and the world is full of disease and suffering and life-eating life every single second of every day. And all day long, all night long, if you could go way back and look at this big picture of this realm, from a distance, it would look like a feeding frenzy, which is, which is what it is. That's what this place is. It's not about choice when you have genetic disorders, thousands of them, programmed into people. And uh, suffering doesn't teach you or challenge you. A lot of people make that mistake. We need it. We need it. Do you need evil? Do you need party crashers to ruin your party when you're having a great time? Do you really need somebody to come in and smash everything and attack you? If this is a loving creation, where's the love and goodness? You should be able to see the love and goodness here. You should be able to see it. Where is it? Why do you have to look so hard for any love or goodness? Because it's only brought here by a rare few that really put that out into this realm, okay? It's not everyone here that does that, puts out goodness, love, caring. It isn't everyone, if you really look. But a lot of people don't really look. They skim the surface, and they believe that they know it all without really looking. They don't take the time to investigate. They don't do, do what men like me have done, spend years at this trying to really get to the deep, roots of the matter and see what it is see what's going on set the feelings and beliefs aside and really look most people won't do that they hang on to their programming they hang on to what feels good a benevolent god where's the where's the evidence of any benevolence okay what are you talking about you sound foolish this guy sounds foolish
The creator of this realm is benevolent, but allows for some evil in the world to challenge us and help us exercise choice. Thus, the soul within us is good, but we're thrown into an erratic and difficult world ruled partially by very evil people. You see, I've traveled out of body a lot. When I was younger, I even gave seminars and out of body travel. His model doesn't make any, any sense, but he pushes his seminars, which you can pay $777 for if you want to, if you can believe it. He has turned off his comments here. I haven't been able to leave a comment. They were turned off when I got here. So I don't know if he hasn't turned off on all of his videos. I guess I could check. I mean, but uh, whether he, whether it's just this video or not, at least on this video, they are shut off. He's pushing. Look at he's held seminars in over 300 cities globally. Quote globally. He believes in a globe. There it is. Globally. The many worlds theory. Look at this. He sells books and seminars. What a bunch of garbage. What a bunch of garbage. He has this turned off where you can't see how many liked. Frederick Dodson, success coach and consciousness researcher. Isn't this incredible? Look at this. Go pay him money to learn about charisma. The guy has no charisma. How to turn a conscious thought into a... Why don't you get a real... Like, his audio sucks. Audio sucks in this one. It absolutely sucks. Comments are turned off for this one. That's all I wanted to show, really. Check this video here. These are the three fundamental questions of... Comments are turned off. So he doesn't allow any feedback, anybody to discuss things or to say, hey, I think this guy's a fraud or any criticism. He can't take criticism because he has his comments turned off. All right. He has his comments turned off, so he can't handle any criticism, obviously. If you want to follow this, it's up to you. You can follow this if you want to. But I think he's, uh, he's going to lead you down the wrong path. Oh, if you enjoy these free videos, you will also enjoy exclusive seminar videos available here. Wow. He has over 2 million views on 310 videos. So people are gobbling it up, as usual. He doesn't believe in community posts. He only posted two years ago. Two years ago. Tony Robbins. <coughs> He's with Tony Robbins. Frederick Dodson. <coughs> oh, man. I don't even know what to say. Sorry. Excuse me for coughing, but... Oh, man. I'm sorry, people. This is uh pretty bad. Gonna end this video soon. There's no secret, there's no shortcut. Everything that is Look at this. Comments turned off again. Reptilians versus Pleiadians. Look at this. Anyway, I'm gonna end this soon. I I've shown enough to show you what this guy's all about. 
I think you've probably seen enough. I have. So thanks for watching, everyone. Hope you have a great day. And mad love to all of the good spirits watching this. Take care. Thanks for supporting the Sanity Machine, the cream of the crop channel on YouTube. Bye.